Hey there, friends and followers. As we kick off the busy season for real estate transactions, which is usually the beginning of spring to mid to end of summer, one thing that I see that people are considering is how cost of living factors into a new area. Over the last couple of years, I have put together videos that break down the cost of living right here in the Ocala Marion County area in an effort to educate those who are contemplating moving to Ocala. As 2023 is well underway, where do we see Ocala's cost of living currently standing? We'll cover that and much more in this next video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ah, so yes, as always, welcome back here with you, your local Ocala Realtor. Now, a lot can change over the course of a year. To give some example, at this point last year, we were still in a very intense seller's market. Navigating through a post-COVID-19 pandemic, bidding wars, home selling for way above asking price, and barely any inventory available were just some of the scenarios that many will look back and reflect upon, much like the market crash of 2008 that is still brought up in conversations. The narrative of our current market has been a night and day difference. While we are still recovering from historically high inflation levels, other factors in the economy have rattled America's financial system. Between the constant mentioning of an unavoidable recession, three of the biggest bank failures in U.S. history, and a possible first ever default on federal debt, it's really a waiting game to see how things are going to pan out and how the economy will overall be affected. But on the lighter side of things, due to the increase in the ability for remote working, the desire for warmer temperatures, and lack of state income tax, Florida continues to gain new residents. And I'm happy to report that Ocala does still remain a more cost-effective location when compared to other areas in Florida and on a wider range of the country as a whole. Let's dive into why. Looking at the U.S. News & World Report 2023's Best Places list, Ocala managed to maintain multiple accolades, included as the 16th best place to retire, 10th safest place to live, and the 6th fastest growing metro area. Ocala now has an estimated population of over 65,000 people while in the metro area, which is a cumulative of all the towns and cities located in the county, boasts just shy of 393,000 individuals. While the overall prices and cost of living are up slightly from last year, the largest increases that we found here in Ocala came in the form of transportation, healthcare, housing, and food. But still Ocala remains to be around 8% lower than that of the state average and 7% less than that of the national average. If you recall, cost of living data is made up of five main categories, housing, food, healthcare, transportation, and energy. These being the core components for any cost of living estimate and represent the expenses for most generally anyone. Of course, not every household expenses will be the same as outside factors can apply. For example, some may factor in education or child care costs. Now, these statistics are generally compared as a number percentage with 100% representing the national average. In terms of housing, Ocala still comes in at about 24% less for home ownership when compared to the national average, with the median home price point starting at around $275,000. Rent for a two-bedroom unit in our area now starts at around $1,400, of course, varying in price due to location, amenities, and the quality of the unit. Regarding food and grocery, we do see Ocala at about 4% less that when compared to the national average, as well as no sales tax on groceries, which is a huge saving for us here. Looking at transportation, we do still see about 89% of people commuting by single vehicle, with an estimated 28% of people commuting outside of the area for work, thus transportation and costs related to, Ocala spills over the national average by about 2-4%. to now, I wouldn't be surprised if this metric increases over time with the added residents now occupying Ocala's roads and highways. On a positive note to this item, though, plans have already been put in place to not only expand the local traffic infrastructure, alleviating some of the heavy flow areas, but also incorporating a new interstate exchange for Ocala that will be installed in the years to come. Looking at healthcare, Ocala's general health cost index, which includes everything from doctors, dentists, specialists, and prescribed pharmaceuticals, which we also do not pay sales tax on, maintains between a 2-4% to amount below the national average, even though Ocala may exceed some other areas of Florida in certain specific costs directly related to healthcare. And lastly, we have energy and utility. This being an area where we also see Ocala a little higher than that of the national average. Total energy, of course, related directly to heating and cooling a typical residence here in the area and includes other things like water, electricity, or natural gas. In this category, we do see Ocala maintain a 20-30% to 30 amount higher than that of the national average. While this can sound concerning, keep in mind that we are typically running a central HVAC system 9-10 to 10 months out of the year, unlike other states. To give some further perspective on this, my household is a family of four living in a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home at about 2,100 square foot. On average, our utility bill runs anywhere from $275 to $290 a month, with being a little higher in the summer months and being a little less in the winter months. Now, another huge perk, which I mentioned earlier and you might have caught to not only Ocala, but the state of Florida, is that there's no personal income tax. 
Florida being only one of nine states in the United States to not pose this taxation. Sales tax for the Ocala Marion County area is 7%, this being comprised of the 6% state sales tax and the 1% county tax, which helps fund public safety equipment needs for law enforcement, fire rescue, and EMS, as well as transportation capital and road rehabilitation projects for the county and municipalities. Believe it or not, this is also lower when compared to other states in the United States. Some prices for everyday goods are as follows. Gas is currently sitting at $3.45, give or take the location of the gas station. Movie tickets range from $11 to $14. A gallon of milk is currently sitting at $2.96. A meal for two out at a restaurant averages at about $45. A large cheese pizza still starts at around $14, and a six-pack of good old Miller Lite is priced at $9.50. So with all things considered, is moving to Ocala or Florida going to save you money or cost you more in the long run? Well, it's always advised to discuss any type of move with an accountant or financial planner, because whereas moving to a state like Florida may be cheaper, your monthly expenses must also be taken into consideration. When looking over and reviewing any sort of monthly budget, factoring in things like entertainment, extracurricular activities, lawn or pest maintenance, or any other various expenses is always going to be best practice. Another positive to consider to not only Ocala but Florida as well is the abundance of outdoor activities available, and in most cases, free of charge. Between being able to enjoy things like the beach or a lake, bike trails, natural escapes, or forest areas, it's easy to enjoy a lifestyle here while being budget friendly and not breaking the bank. Well, hopefully this video provides a little bit of insight regarding the cost of living associated with us here in Ocala, Florida. If you have any specific questions, drop a comment below or find my contact information and reach out directly. If you are in fact considering a relocation and Ocala is the next destination, then check out this next video which outlines some great neighborhood options all under the $300,000 mark. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with great information like this on Ocala and the residential real estate market there within. As always, thanks for tuning in and checking out the videos and we'll catch you guys on the next.